In this video, we will look at the steps to assign a personal identification code, PIC, also referred to as password, on a subprogrammable system. Before we begin, here are a few points to remember. Subprogrammable systems use a PIC that serves as the authorization for calling into JCI for information or to update the information. Panel codes are not generally listed on a subprogrammable system, unless you add them in the PIC column. We will now go through the steps for assigning a PIC on a subprogrammable system. The first thing to remember while assigning a PIC is that it should not be listed in the same row as that of the contact phone number. It should not be in a row with an order number. A PIC should always be listed in the single row that is seen just below the Add New Contact section. To begin with, type in PIC in the last name field. If you wish to assign a PIC to an individual, Type in the contact's first name and last name in the respective fields. Next, type in the password in the PIC field. Note that it can be letters, numbers, or a combination of letters and numbers. Here's an important tip to consider while assigning a PIC. A PIC should not be profane or include emergency words. For example, Fire is not a good password as it might mislead the receiver on the phone to believe that there is a fire accident somewhere around, thus resulting in a call to the fire department. Once the PIC is added, the next step is to select the authority level for the PIC. Clicking the permissions hyperlink will display a list of all the authority level options. After selecting the authority level, click Add New Contact. The screen refreshes to display the PIC at the top section. Validate the PIC and then click Submit Changes to save the changes. That's it. You are all set with a PIC.